All right, I'm going to make this video a really quick, really quick tip. Getting ready to go um, do some coursework with some of my juniors. But I keep seeing this, I keep hearing this over and over, and i got to make sure that you guys fix this. You've heard the saying, hold the club like a baby bird, right? Do not hold the club like a baby bird, please. And here's why. Everyone that's coming to me recently, and especially in the last few years, they're getting to the ball, their right hand's coming off the club, and the club is spinning in their hands. They're losing major compression, major power, and all their control, right? So instead of holding the club in your hands like a baby bird, I want you to have loose and soft wrists with firm fingers. How do we do that? Really quick. Straight arms. Keep your arms straight. Do not let it bounce in your fingers. I repeat, do not let it bounce in your fingers. Full circles, not mini circles, like that. Full circles, both ways. Let it flow a little bit. Don't hit yourself in the head. Do not let it come out of your hands. At impact, with those loose wrists and firm fingers, I want you to own that moment so you can crush the golf ball. Do not let go of it, especially your right thumb and your right index finger. That's your steering wheel. They have to be on the club. If they come off, the club is going to spin. Okay? At impact, we're having loose wrists. We're letting the club flow so we can smash the golf ball with firm fingers. So at impact, own that moment. Okay? At impact, own that moment. Okay? That's it.